we saw your name up front when you walked in. You know, this was a big part of what you wanted to do. So why was it important for you to have that individual touch, that donation, as part of this process? Well, I, I certainly wanted to, uh, to signal my individual uh, commitment to, to academics and the total development of our students. And I certainly wanted to encourage others. Uh, to, to do the same and to contribute to, to the project. And I felt it was really important for me to, to make that individual gift. How much of this design is based on feedback from students and academic advisors and coaches? Uh, it, it was definitely based on uh, a large amount of feedback from our Morgan Center staff and, and our director as to, uh, you know, the, this was about putting all of our uh, academic support efforts from a Morgan Center uh, standpoint together. And, and so the, the design in terms of how the work and the advising and the support will flow is, is all, all from them. And, and obviously their expertise also comes from student feedback and, and student athlete feedback. So I would say that, uh, that the, uh, the design and the way that this uh, center will operate is is certainly based on those who will use it, uh, both staff and, and, and students most heavily. What kind of feedback have you gotten from the student athletes the last two weeks as they settle in here and get used to it? Uh, it's it's all been really positive. It's been kind of that wow, uh, and and they they don't say it, um, but I certainly read into their feeling that. You know, wow, academics is, is really important. And they know that coming to, to Penn State. But again, this is a physical manifestation uh, of that. This is, a, this is a, uh, a physical statement about our commitment to academics that obviously we support in, in so many other ways. Um, but, but facilities are, are a big part of that and very visible, obviously. What's the price tag on something like this? And, and can you speak to the, the, you talked about facilities, pumping money into the academic end of it, as opposed to just stadiums and arenas and that sort of thing, how the, the importance of that? Uh, this project is about 7.2 million, uh, and uh, a absolutely. Uh, again, I, I think having this project really kind of be first uh, speaks to uh, the priority, uh, the urgency, if you will, uh, and uh, and our commitment to uh, to the academic and the student welfare and development side uh, of our student athlete experience here at Penn State. Yes, it's going to be important that we have that same kind of commitment to the conditions of su for success uh, for the athletic part of it, for the, the, uh, uh, the medical part, the welfare uh, part. There's so many aspects, obviously, to a student's experience, a student athlete's experience here at Penn State. Uh, but I, I think it was, uh, in, in my mind, uh, and in my priorities, very important uh, that we get this part right uh, first uh, and that it signal that priority. How far along was the project when you got here, and what sort of impact did you have on, on this? Well, as, as Russ said, it's, it's been about two years in the making. Uh, when I arrived, uh, the conversation was around consolidation from those four or five areas that we had been providing support from. Uh, the, the conversation was about consolidation. Uh, when I got here, uh, I immediately committed to that from a funding standpoint. Uh, and, and then that's when the design got, uh, got going in earnest. If this is first project going on, we see and hear the construction everywhere else. What's next? What else? What other projects are going on? Well, obviously, we've got uh, a phase of, uh, of the Lash building uh, that, is, uh, that is going and, and, and actually should be completed hopefully early, early fall. Uh, and, and then we've got, uh, we've got the master plan that we're uh, in, the, in the middle of that we hope to, uh, to unveil in, uh, in early, early fall. Uh, and again, that will be concepts. That will not be design. Uh, that'll be concepts around around projects. And then once we once we do that, uh, from a, it will all depend on funding, uh, and a lot of that will depend on philanthropy, uh, as to as to which projects then go and uh, and go first. Some of it uh, will be actual physical sequencing that we can't build this until we build this or until we tear this down or till, uh, but but most of it will depend on. Uh, on funding, whether that's philanthropy uh, or most of, most of these facilities will be combination philanthropy, uh, uh, athletic department uh, capital funds, uh, and or uh, and or debt finance.
And the ability to repurpose an, uh, an athletic um, building kind of space for an academic thing, can you speak to that a little bit? Well, I mean, it's, it's incredible space, as you all have, have just uh, walked through. And it's, uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's the perfect location. Obviously, it was the, the previous uh, ice arena, uh, indoor, indoor sports complex. Uh, it's currently being used uh, both with the, uh, the Morgan Academic Center and then uh, what's called the temporary surge or swing space. I believe it's chemistry uh, right now that is in it, that is in the, in the, the, the back part of the the building and will continue to be as uh, as academic buildings are renovated or or uh, or constructed across campus that will continue to be used for uh, for academic purposes. Did you have much interaction with uh, Dean Dewey and her staff? And if so, how long was it? I personally did not, um, but we did from a des from a design and implementation standpoint to to ask them about uh, about their experience and uh, and the usefulness to students. And again, part of the student feedback was a need for that kind of of, of technology. Uh, you know, we've got uh, a one button studio, um, and and we're certainly going to see how that's utilized with the possibility of certainly doing more. We see that sports psychology is now, I guess, housed here. Is it? Uh, the, our uh, our sports psychologist is is housed here, uh, and and he is part of the the Morgan Center staff. That that position is part of the Morgan Center staff. Yeah, I, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that in terms of, again, I think it's all about signaling the commitment um, as to, to what we stand for, what's important to us. Uh, and uh, the, first and foremost, this is about our current student athletes and, and what this does, uh, how this enables them, how this helps them in their experience, get the most out of their experience at Penn State. But there's no doubt about it uh, that as you invest in physical infrastructure, uh, your, your recruits and those that are considering coming to Penn State will take note of, of the commitment. And how, does, how would this facility compare to, did you go around and, and look at other facilities to, in, in the Big Ten and your, your competition kind of across the country? Yeah, I mean, I've, I, I've had that experience in a number of, of different conferences, uh, and I think this stacks up with, with anybody's.